Good day to everyone out there. So we're now we're going on to example number 10, where now we're going to be introducing continuous um, compound interest, where we're not doing it over, you know, quarterly, semi-annually, or monthly, but now we're going to be doing this continuously. Um, and this equation is uh, very neat how it's derived. And usually, like, you, you do this when you take calculus, but we're not going to be driving it today. We're just taking a look at it, where our amount is equal to our principal amounts and multiply that by e and then raise to the power of our rate and multiply by like how long but it's really cool um continuous growth kind of graph here when you look at it and so let's go and look at our problem that we're doing today right so we have two thousand dollars and uh we are going to invest that at five percent interest for 10 years so like how much will it grow if it's compounded continuously and then also right here, um, how long is it going to take to double? So very similar to the previous examples, um, previous or same same questions, but now that we're doing this um, in a continuous session rather than a finite. All right, great. So let's just go ahead and uh, look at the first one here. So if we're going to start this bad boy, so we'll say our amount is going to be our our principal, two thousand dollars, right? Times that by e. Raise the power of our rate, which is 5% in a decimal. So this is 5 one hundredths. Multiply that by our time of 10 years. Okay. Um, and basically, I mean, just from there, I'll just put that in the calculator. And then, like, you're pretty much done there. Um, so I'm just going to use Desmos to do that. Uh, so I'll do uh, 2,000. Multiply that by E. If you are going to use Desmos, and if you want to do the exponent, you're going to want to do the, the caret that's on the six button. So you do the shift six and it kind of does that there. Um, 0 0.05 and then multiply that by 10. Bam. So that's how much money we're going to get right there. Uh, $3,297.44. Cool. So let's go back to our screen there. Bam. So that's about how much we'll get. What was that? I said uh, 3,297 and I think I said 44 cents. Sweet. So that's uh, for part A. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what else are we doing here? How long will it take for, for the original to double? So basically we're using the same formula, but now we want to know what if A is 4,000, right? Because if you start off with 2,000, um, how much time does it take to double? So that's what we're going to say. 4,000 is now our amount. And our, our principal again still was 2,000. E still our rate of 5%. And but we don't know our time, right? Because that's what the question is asking is now how long is this going to take? Um, cool. So I see here that we have a value times this guy. So that means I can get rid of this because 200 times that that means I'm going to divide both sides by 2,000. Cool, so 4,000 4, divided by 2,000 is just 2. So then we get E raised to the uh, 0 0.05T, right? Um, we have to recognize this from like our first example, I think, in this section, and which is, oh, okay, let's go ahead and take the logarithm, or in this case, let's take the natural log of both sides. And we want to do natural log because we have an E in there. So the natural log of 2 on the left side and natural log of E raised to the five one hundredths t right and we know that by the uh one of our rules here is we can take our, our exponent and bring it down so ln of two is equal to five one hundredths t multiply that by ln of e and we love the ln of e because the base of ln is e so anytime that you have the same base and what you're taking the natural log or log of it's just going to be one so this is just one right here Right, this is just one. So that's why we have left ln of two is equal to uh, five one hundredths t. And our last step is to divide by five one hundredths. And that should pretty much do it for us then. So that is our exact answer. And if you want uh, something, or I think we'll probably want to get our time here, right? So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. So we'll do ln of 2, divide that by uh, 0.05. Cool. So it's going to take about 13.86 years. 
That's how long it would take us.